and girls and welcome to my channel. I am Miss Kim and today I have a beautiful illustrated story that takes place in the grasslands where the bison roam. Mary McBlicken, the prairie chicken, is it scritch scratching around looking for food and she begins to hear this rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling sounds. Well, she gets concerned and thinks there's a stampede a coming. So she takes off to let everyone know. Well, let's begin this story and just see exactly what that rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling noises are. Are you ready? The name of this book is Prairie Chicken Little, written by Jackie Mitz Hopkins, illustrated by Henry Cole. Let's get started. Look at that beautiful cover. <laughs> Look at the face on Mary McBlicken. <laughs> she looks a little frightened and concerned, doesn't she? Well, let's see what happens. Oh, look at the pictures. Out on the grasslands where bison roam, Mary McBlicken, the prairie chicken, was scritch scratching for her breakfast when all of a sudden she heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Whoa, she's like, what is that? And look at the bison over here. Hmm. They look like they hear it too. <laughs> oh no, she exclaimed, a stampede's a coming. I need to hightail it back to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. They'll know what to do. Look, her wings are a-flapping. So away Mary ran, lickety-splickety, as fast as her little prairie chicken legs could carry her. <laughs> oh, my word. What do you think that sound is that she's hearing? Well, be thinking about it and see if you can figure it out. On her way to the ranch, Mary came upon Jeffrey Snog, the prairie dog, who was soaking up some sunshine. Good morning to you, barked Jeffrey. No time for good mornings, warned Mary. A stampede's a-coming. Hmm, how do you know that this is so, asked Jeffrey. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Jeffrey. Come with me to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hit the trail barked Jeffrey, and away the pair ran, lickety-splickety toward the ranch. Oh, wow, they're running as fast as their little legs can go. Soon they met Bo Grabbit, the jackrabbit, who was nibbling on some sweet grass. To going in such a hurry? He asked. A stampede's a coming, said Mary. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. Huh, how do you know that this is so? Asked Bo. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling I did, said Mary. Oh, she's telling him the story. 
Do you think Bo is going to join them? Let's see. Ah, Stampede, yes indeed, said Bo. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hop to it then, said Bo. And they lit off across the prairie, lickety-splickety, toward the ranch. There they go. Both of them are following Mary. Before long, the trio came across June Spark the Meadow Lark, who was building her nest in the tall prairie grass. What's, what's going on? asked June. A stampede's a coming, chorused the trio. How do you know that this is so? asked June. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling I did, said Mary. A stampede? Yes, indeed, said June. Oh, and they're all telling June the story. <laughs> Look at the face on Mary McBlicken there. She's like, ah, <laughs> she's a little scared there. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan hollered Mary. What are we waiting for? chirped June. And away they all flew, lickety-splickety, toward the ranch. Oh my gracious, there they all run. Whoa, look at those pictures. It wasn't long before Slim Brody, the sly coyote, spotted them, making their way across the prairie. Well, hello there, my fine feathered and furry friends. What's the big rush? A stampede's a coming. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, said Mary. It's your lucky day, said Slim. I just happen to know a shortcut. And look at him smiling. Oh, he had no intention of taking them to the ranch. Oh no, guys, be careful. He's being sneaky. Well, let's see if they follow him. Instead, he led them across the plain, over a hill, and through a pass, around a bend, and down a gully to the entrance of his den. Oh, no! What do you think he has planned? Well, let's just see. What's this? Squawked Mary. This, snarled Slim, is the passage to the shortcut. He flashed a toothy smile and closed in on Mary McBlicken and the others. Oh no, watch out, guys. The fine feathered and furry friends all started clucking and barking and thumping and chirping as loud as they could. Oh gracious, they caught on. They figured out what Slim was doing. They were, he was leading him back to his hiding place, wasn't he, to his den. What was he going to do? That's right. I think he was going to eat them. <laughs> and look, they started fighting back. Well, let's see what happens. Whoa, Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan heard the ruckus 
and came charging across the prairie toward the den. Dan made a beeline for Slim Brody and chased that coyote lickety-split far, far away. Oh, good deal they showed up when they did. What's going on? asked Stan. A stampede's a coming, cried Mary. How do you know that this is so? asked Stan. But before Mary could open her beak to speak, everyone heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Yes, indeed. Why, that's not a stampede, said Stan. That's your stomach. There's only one way to head off a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling stumbling stomach. You need some grub. <laughs> what is grub? Well, let's see if we find out on the next page. Do you boys and girls know what grub is? Let's see. Look at her face. Ah, that's right. Grub is food. <laughs> Look at all of that food. So Cowboy Stan cooked up a fine supper for those critters, and that took care of Mary McBlicken's stomach stampede. Lickety splickety. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Look, they're all laughing and eating. Oh, look at the corn on the cob. Mmm, fresh tomatoes. Yum. Look at that beautiful sunset. And there's Slim Brody howling at the moon. <laughs> what a beautiful illustrated story about a prairie chicken and her friends. She was so concerned about that rumbling, grumbling, tumbling sound, wasn't she? And what was it? That's right, it was her stomach. When you boys and girls get hungry, does your stomach make noises? Well, I know mine does. And that's right, we get something to eat, just like they did. Boys and girls, thank you for joining me today in this story, Prairie Chicken Little. And remember, a good book and your imagination will take you anywhere. Until next time, bye. <music>